For a few minutes, it felt like meltdown. The Dow plunged almost a thousand points, briefly wiping out a trillion dollars in market value before recovering. The so-called flash crash of May the 6th saw traders desperately trying to make sense of what was happening, and they needed to be confident their systems were coping with the stress. ITRS helps financial institutions to understand how their entire trading and risk application infrastructure is working. What we will actually provide is a view into that infrastructure so they can identify early where the stresses are occurring and proactively uh, manage that environment for them so that they don't end up having outages or fa failures that would actually compound the problem because you know once you've got a failure in the system to try and then catch up in a volatile market with aggressive trading going on is almost an insurmountable problem. The management systems and applications from ITRS are not there to support or enhance the actual trading or business process, simply to give a clearer and real-time picture of how a technology stack is coping with the complexities of a fast-moving market. It's now estimated that high-frequency trading accounts for as much as 73% of US daily equity volume. On this London trading floor, they access the market via multiple different computer systems and need to deliver orders to relevant exchanges for execution with minimal latency. On the day of the flash crash, they knew what they were seeing was actually happening. The way our IT infrastructure works is we have set certain parameters in terms of reliability, accuracy um, and resilience and in the, the operation of this business so far we've never had any, any circumstance where any of those things have been questioned. So we, we know that the information we're looking at on the screens is accurate. So we know that when we see the Dow losing a thousand points, we know that that is true, it's not our information glitch. And as technology advances, the speed at which those transactions are carried out also increases. At Intel we see trading as the Formula One of the use of technology in financial services and right across the technology stack to the CPU, the central processing unit or chip from Intel, uh, every element has to be tuned for optimal performance. You therefore need to instrument that whole technology stack with dashboards such as ITRS so that you know that your infrastructure is working is reliable and is therefore trading safely in a market which might be in turmoil. And ITRS has been building these dashboards for more than a decade to enable firms to see how their infrastructure is working. Real-time systems that give operational teams confidence in a trading environment where every second counts. These are obviously business critical systems and the ITRS monitors these systems. Green basically symbolizes that everything is running smoothly. Yellow is sort of like a warning and then red is obviously when it's failed and as you can see there's two red ones there but that's plant outages. So it alerts us before anything goes wrong which is the key thing. So most of the time we can actually intercept the issue before it actually you know, occurs. So that saves a lot of time. The flash crash sent shockwaves through the markets and reminded financial institutions just how much they rely on technology so they can make informed decisions. Real-time visibility and control to support these systems from ITRS is helping them to see more.